Hi, my name is Scott Hebbard and today I'm going to demonstrate the business rule capabilities within Enterprise Architect by examining a car rental system included in the EA example model. Enterprise Architect uses a rule flow diagram to describe key decisions and to outline the sequence in which business rules are to be executed. This rule flow diagram contains a number of rule tasks such as determine eligibility. Each rule task is made up of a number of different rules which we'll have a look at now. Within the package browser you can see there are a number of rules related to eligibility, to penalties and the cost of a car. Using the package browser we can rapidly enter business rules or import existing rules contained in a CSV file. We use a rule model diagram to associate each rule with a given task. For example, determine rent payable has a number of rules associated with the cost of different cars and a rule for calculating the rent payable. To model each rule task at a logical level, simply right click to access the rule composer. You can see the rule statements are up the top and each of these are bound to a column. For example, if you hire a small car, it will cost $80 a day, whereas a luxury car costs $150 a day and that is based on these rule statements. There's a computational rule table which is used to calculate the amount of rent payable. It's also important to validate rules that have been modelled in the rule composer. Validation helps to identify rule contradictions, duplicate column entries, missing data and logical errors. The output window indicates where the error is located and the nature of the error. The business vocabulary for the rental system is described in our business domain model, detailing the terms and facts on which our business rules can be modelled. Each class has a number of attributes and operations that can be used to generate executable business rules. To generate executable business rules, simply right click on the business domain model package, select code engineering and generate source code. If we select our rental system I can hit F12 to view the code that's been generated from our business rules. You can see here is the code associated with calculating the cost of each type of car. So a small car is $80 a day or a luxury car is $150 a day. For more information about this feature and many others, or to download a free trial, visit www.sparksystems.com.